incredible. Um, there's, there's a sense of tremendous pride amongst the whole team. Um, the Unity team has shown tremendous resilience. Um, you know, from the start of engineering through to the delivery of Unity to Guyana, you know, three and a half or so years during a global pandemic, um, taking on lessons learned from Lisa Destiny and the startup there, getting better, a spirit of uh, achieving excellence. It, my, uh, I'm just so proud of the team on what they've accomplished. It's, uh, you know, the first oil and in the introduction of hydrocarbons, it's a, uh, it's a momentous milestone that we've achieved. It, it is a single milestone on the journey. And um, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, the spirit of the team is confidence and calmness and, uh, and resilience to con you know, continue the journey really towards uh, full gas compression and injection. And that's where we want to get. And then you know, we'll continue to ramp up production numbers. But at the moment, we're squarely focused on uh, commissioning the gas compression trip. started up the facility, or we've introduced hydrocarbon, I like to call it, but we've introduced the hydrocarbon or the oil to really fully commission the system. And, and we need the gas from the reservoir to commission or get ready, fully test the gas compression train. So that's really where we are. We're bringing on enough hydrocarbon in order to have enough gas to get the machines ready to fully compress and then inject. Once we've achieved that, then we'll continually increase the production rate, you know, towards the 200 and just over 200,000 barrels a day towards the end of the year. I'm not in any rush to get to that number. What I really want to do is achieve our full gas compression and injection and get to our background flare and meet our commitments on the environment. a clearly a team of teams that delivered unity to Guyana and got us to the you know the spot where we are now the there is a you know the top sides team the team that uh, designed and fabricated and did mechanical completion in Singapore and then sailed it here um, there's the team that designed the what we call the surf or all the subsea equipment the wells but first and foremost, it's the exploration team that found the reservoir, the drilling team that drilled the wells. We are in an excellent position for, we've connected all the wells to the flow lines, we've connected them to uh, the risers, we're all connected to the FPSO, and uh, we've introduced hydrocarbon. So it's, it's an incredible achievement by, by so many people. There are so many people involved in this to get us to this point uh, with the success we've had and so many people still involved to help us succeed. Our co-venture partners, uh, you know, our partners, contractors on the project, all their subcontractors, the teams onshore, the teams in Houston, the teams overseas, you know, the Guyanese people that are working offshore and onshore. Tremendous, tremendous attitude and spirit to, to be successful and I, I'm just really proud. I'm so honored to be here for, uh, you know, Guyana's second production facility. Lisa Unity is the second FPSO. We have a third FPSO currently in Singapore, Prosperity. We have a fourth Yellowtail underway actually named One Guyana is the name of the FPSO. And we have potentially up to seven to 10 oil and gas developments. So pretty amazing, significant growth opportunity we have and we're creating the right foundation here right now with the people we have.